Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I will be talking about the utilization management uh, side of things uh, on uh, in Health Cloud. So I just wanted to give you a very simple scenario, right? If, if you remember in the last episode, I talked about uh, verification option, the benefit verification, right? So let's say you are a provider, right? You provide healthcare facility to a member and you wanted to make sure that the member has a right insurance, right? So obviously, you know, under normal circumstances, what happens is that you fill up a form or you make a call, you send out, uh, you scan the document and email it, right, to an insurance uh, company of a member. Uh, so once they receive an insurance company, right, um, it depends upon the workload Right, they may approve it or they may deny it. They, if they have more questions, they might, you know, reach out to you. So the whole process can take a um, substantial amount of time. Right, it's not very effective from from a member perspective. Right, if that makes sense, you know. And also, what happens is, uh, let's say, excuse me, um, if someone uh, submits a request of say pre authorization request uh, to an insurance company. When they receive that pre-request, right, the person who is analyzing it may may think mm, there is something wrong with this request because the information is incomplete. They can send that request to say uh, to the to the to her boss or to his boss, right? And the person looks at the request and says, "Ah, yeah, that's right. This this information is incomplete. So let me decline the request." So the person declines it. Now, when the provider receives the decline request, right? So the provider might think, mm, that's not right. So let me reach out to um, the insurance agent, insurance company again to say how important this treatment is for this person. Uh, so, you know, it's better to have this um, claim approved. So, yeah, so you can see that, right? Back and forth kind of conversation. What if, if if we streamline the process, right? What if we have everything in one place? So that's exactly what I'm going to do, uh, talk about today using something called uh, utilization management. Uh, so you have certain options in Health Cloud where a provider can log into your experience cloud where they can submit an approval and submit a pre-authorization for, um, for the service they're going to offer to the member, right? And then uh, the person who is sitting on the insurance side, right? If they're using Health Cloud, they can obviously log into their Salesforce org and again log into the case or pre authorized case to see, ah, this is the case that's been sent to us. And they go through each and every details. And then if the person is not happy, they can escalate the case to, to the, up the chain, right? And But, but the, the advantage is that the person will have at least you know, complete information about what treatment is about, or, you know, all kind of stuff, right? So it's it's kind of centralized, right? So, um, so what what we can do, right? So the f the few things you need to do, right? If you wanted to configure, so the first thing first, you need to uh, go to your setup, yeah, and under setup, you can look at care provider. Ah, no, 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 not this one. Did I? Sorry, not this one. Care setting. Uh, so care request setting. So under care request setting, right, you need to have uh, something configured, right? So if I look at admission, right, so... If I go to edit, so I made this as a default record. So, um, so this is admission, and these are the care requests. Uh, so you can request for a drug, you can request for extension, request for an item, you can request for care, right? So I choose the care diagnostic, and what I did, I dragged this component to an experience page builder, and so that when um, a provider, right, wants to submit a request, they can log into the Experience Cloud and they can submit a request. So I'll show you how. So if I go to the Experience Cloud, right, so this is something you can see. So there's something called admission. So if I click here, so you get all this information here. So you put the case, 
information here uh, you know all the necessary details you fill right and once you do that you fill the case uh, sorry care request here the members name and kind of stuff right and all the stuff here, requesting practitioner name you can put appointment representative you can put all this kind of stuff you can put and the care diagnostic you can put as well so everything is centralized as you can see right all you have to do is that you don't have to you know fill up the messy forms and fax it and kind of stuff right you can log into the experience cloud site and then submit it once you submit it what happens is if you go to uh let's say if this insurance agents are looking at it so they probably can go to health cloud uh um and under that they can go to home now so here you can look at the list of all the uh you know things being submitted right it's for admission it's for concurrent review it's for drug request you get everything in one place so you can log into it and say mm, let me look at it and you can look at it and you can you know look at all the information they want intake new take um so all this you know appointment representative all the information you can see here and you can relate details more related um even care diagnostic all kind of stuff you can have a look so care request so request for who so you can see that here right and the member id and member group everything so this kind of information is what makes the care uh, management uh, in much efficient because you know now you know you might have de dealt with insurance before I'm pre pretty sure I've done that because what I have to do is that in New Zealand I, to, if, I mean usually like I said right we don't really need uh, to have the concept of um, medical insurance but now um, you know after post COVID right you know we are understaffed so it's, if you have a, a medical insurance, you know, you're, you go to school. But without that, there's a huge wait time. So people, uh, if companies offer that, that's a kind of a perk, right? So let's, like one of my previous firm offer that option. So what I used to do, so I used to, if I have to do something, I have to I download the form, fill in the form, email to them. all, And then, you know, I have to wait like 10, 15 days to hear back from them. So, um, so that's, you know, imagine if everything is, is centralized right in a health cloud or for that matter any other technology right so you will find that these processes getting more and more efficient over the course of time so that's the whole point right to, just to give a member a positive experience right because the treatment is important could be life-threatening right so you need to have things sorted right so that's the reason why you know it's important that you know things are streamlined so this is one of the advantage of, I would say, um, using Health Cloud. So that's all I wanted to cover in this episode. Hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. Adios.